Adrian swallowed, steadied his hand, and spoke evenly. It will be fine, Clark. The man at whose head Adrian had his pistol pointed snickered. You don't expect him to believe that? The man pressed the end of his gun against Clark's temple and snickered again. Of course, if you put down your gun, I won't shoot your little brother. Adrian saw the flicker of fear in his brother's eyes and spoke soothingly. Don't worry, Clark, he's not that stupid. He knows enough to understand you are the only thing standing between him and death. Adrian chilled his next words and directed them at the outlaw. Killing my brother would be a one-way ticket to hell. Make no mistake about that, Carson. He would beat me there, Carson sneered. Adrian's smile was cold and wickedly condescending. Never. Adrian watched Carson's gaze focus on the gun pointed at his own head. Well now, we'll just have to see who gets tired of this standoff first. Adrian heard the barest trace of concern in Carson's voice and sent a silent prayer heavenward. Clark shifted slightly, and Carson yanked his arm back against the boy's throat. Relax, Clark! Adrian's voice was commanding but fraternal. Just settle down. Just settle down. Clark could read his elder brother almost as well as his father and Eric could. The barest inflections in Adrian's voice, the set of his mouth, the flicker of an eye all held meaning for Clark. And though Adrian would have teased against the notion Clark obeyed his brother far more often than he disobeyed, Clark sent his own prayer to Jesus, God, and his angel mother. Then he forced his body to reverse itself. Instead of straining against the arm that held him, he relaxed back against Carson's body, going limp and slipping downward. Carson was surprised. Adrian was not. Adrian fired. His shot was echoed by a second. Adrian darted forward before the sound it had disappeared from the air. Clark! Clark! Are you... Clark! Adrian snatched his brother from the ground. I'm... I'm not hurt. I'm... Adrian was frantically examining Clark with his hands and eyes, but he found no injury. Adrian's bullet had hit Carson directly between the eyes. The outlaw had been thrown back and his arm flung outward before his finger reflexively pulled the trigger of his own colt. Clark, I... There was no other. Oh my God! Adrian buried his head against Clark's curls as he clutched his brother to his chest. Adrian, I'm not hurt. I'm not! Clark managed. The he muttered, Unless you've broken my ribs. It was his brother's weak sarcasm that cut through Adrian's panic. He released his hold on Clark and sank back to sit in the dirt, panting as if he had run 20 miles. Both brothers sat trying to regain control of their breathing and their thoughts. Then Adrian's eyes flickered to the body lying sprawled beside them. His voice was a flat whisper when he spoke. If I had laid down my gun, he... I knew he... If I had thought for a moment. Clark listened as his brother seemed unable to complete a sentence. He would have killed us both, Clark stated simply, and with the same conviction Adrian had used to make his decision. Adrian turned his eyes to his brother's face. If I had thought for a moment that he would let you for live for even a few minutes, I would never have risked firing. You know that, don't you? I know. Adrian drew in a deep breath. Fine, then. What do you say to getting up and getting home? I'd say that's the second best idea you've had today. 